Fibromyalgia has been recognized since the 17th century, and yet we still do not know what the underlying cause for this disease is. Stick around to see why it may be autoimmune. An autoimmune disease is a disease that results when the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues. This can happen when foreign proteins, such as antigens on the surface of infectious agents, mimic the body's proteins, confusing the immune system. It can also happen if the immune system overreacts to foreign invaders and mistakenly attacks the body's own proteins in the danger zone. These bystander proteins can become exposed by infection or by physical trauma. Fibromyalgia is a disease that involves chronic widespread pain as well as non-pain syndromes such as fatigue, malfunction of organ systems, changes in brain function, and sleep disturbances. Although some factors can predispose people to fibromyalgia syndrome, such as their genes, negative life events, and physical trauma, the underlying cause of fibromyalgia syndrome is still unknown. Today, we believe the sensitization of the central nervous system to pain and the malfunction of systems that inhibit pain lead to the disease. This is supported by the low threshold and tolerance for pain, the hyperalgesia and allodynia that are found in patients with fibromyalgia syndrome. To date, there are no blood tests to diagnose fibromyalgia syndrome and it is diagnosed by clinical evaluation and patient reports. Several features of fibromyalgia suggest that it is an autoimmune disease. Both infection and trauma which can trigger autoimmune diseases are among the most common events that precede the onset of fibromyalgia syndrome. Infectious germs known to be risk factors for different autoimmune diseases such as Epstein-Barr virus and herpes simplex virus are frequently found in patients with fibromyalgia syndrome. Fibromyalgia frequently occurs after silicone breast implants, vaccinations, and mineral oil injections, processes that often trigger immune events. In addition, patients diagnosed with fibromyalgia frequently have a high incidence of other autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, and type 1 diabetes. Besides this, there's evidence of activation of the immune system as seen in an increase in many B cells in patients with fibromyalgia syndrome. Several antibodies that attack the patient's own tissues, that is, autoantibodies, are found in the blood of patients suffering from fibromyalgia syndrome. Other antibodies against proteins in cells, nerve tissue, muscle tissue have been reported in patients with fibromyalgia syndrome, but their role in causing fibromyalgia is controversial. On the other hand, unlike other autoimmune diseases, the level of common blood tests for inflammation in patients with fibromyalgia syndrome are normal. Others, such as interleukin-8, are altered, suggesting a viral infection or autoimmunity. Whether fibromyalgia is an autoimmune disease is still a mystery, but if we can determine that, it would lead to better diagnosis, better treatment, and greater patient satisfaction. I hope this video was useful. If it was, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until we meet again, thanks for watching.